barriga. Oi. So the weather's been nice enough that I'm taking uh, Skeeter, my parrot, on a walk with me around the neighborhood. Well, the new neighborhood that's springing up like mushrooms right next door to our neighborhood of 20 plus years. Check it out. But the weather's been so back and forth as it usually is between, you know, warm, cold, warm, cold. And uh, today's one of the warm days, so I thought I'd take advantage of it and take a walk. When I was a kid, this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. And uh, this field right here is one of the last patches, the last holdouts. I'm not gonna complain because, well, where I used to live used to be a field as well. And before that, it was just open prairie. So everything changes. And uh, this cottonwood tree, it's been here before most of this. I hope they don't chop it down. It's at least 100 years old. It's a very, very sturdy, big cottonwood. Cottonwoods are native trees here in Colorado. In fact, I think they would be one of the only trees that would have been here before uh, Europeans showed up on this scene. This is a painting by John William Casselier, who was out from one of the Hudson Bay artists. This is called Near Greeley, Colorado, that was painted in 1882. Another artist that painted cottonwoods was Georgia O'Keeffe. In New Mexico at Ghost Ranch, she painted them for several decades. One of the interesting things you can do as an artist is paint the same subject over a period of years and this cottonwood has been a favorite subject of mine for quite some time because it's so close to our house. I've painted it in all seasons, all kinds of weather, and it just occurred to me that I hadn't painted it in a long time. so. I thought I would try again to paint it uh, and I didn't want to put the houses around it just yet and because I'm going to be plein air painting again here uh, now that the weather's warming up I thought I'd better get some practice in and uh, what better way to do that than to do a familiar subject. I have found when I paint outside I can handle all kinds of weather. I can handle heat, I can handle cold, but the one thing I really don't like to paint in unless I absolutely have to is the wind. So that's why I decided to take this inside today. Usually I paint this tree when it's really summery and green or fall-like or even in the snow, but I haven't painted it but maybe a couple of times at this time of the year where the buds are just starting to get fat but they're still dormant. So it's a bit of a challenge to give that appearance of those really fine branches going all the way to the tips and they're kind of lit up interestingly. What about you? Do you paint anything on a regular basis, watching it change over the years? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Well, that's all I've got to share this time around, but uh, stay tuned. I hope to go on more outdoor adventures as the weather warms up, and uh, also I want to do some more birds. So stay tuned, and thank you once again so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.